my list is growing, which tells me they don't know. No one knows. No one knows. And I'm going to drop down to the very bottom. Our last two agriculture secretaries, Mike Joans and Schaefer, were surprises even on the morning they were announced. So I like to put that for perspective. A list like this can make you look very stupid. <laughs> Somebody could very well likely, not on the list, be announced. But let's go through a few with this caveat. I think USDA will be in the lower third of the cabinet secretaries announced. And thus far, he's picked some pretty good, intelligent, pragmatic people. Now, when it gets to the lower third, uh, this is a precedent of change. Uh, not too much change so far. Not too much performance so far. So that ups the odds, at least to me, that once we get to the EPA level, uh, the USDA level, I think we could well see a surprise and more of a performance. Now that's going to get the production agriculture people uh, at least nervous until they know who that potential changed person might be. But from Congress, Representative Colin Peterson, Democrat from Minnesota, I think he's in Europe right now, he keeps on saying he does not want it. They have not asked him, and if, if they ask him, he will not take it. Now that's a pretty good moniker to get selected. Uh, for a cabinet spot. If the president asks you to be on the cabinet, you typically do not say no. Not all the time. But so I'll still put Colin as a possibility. But he clearly would not, to me, be a change candidate in overall foreign policy. Uh, but Colin's a pretty good guy. He wants to have change within USDA organization and some big changes in his mind. He, he uh, honestly thinks he can do more uh, of a role keeping where he's at. He's already plotting the next farm bill with hearings in 2010, he tells me. But he's still on there. The next one keeps coming up the last week in my sources. Uh, so I'd say she's probably in the top tier. Sure. Representative Stephanie Herseth Sandler from South Dakota. They didn't vote for Obama, but she's one of the rising stars of the Democratic family. And uh, former Majority Leader Tom Daschle, of course, hails from South Dakota, and he was an early mentor of uh, Obama, so that, that would be a plus for her. She's on the Ag Committee, and she could be billed as a status quo, and I know she has been done, but the you know, uh, labeled that with some of the non-farm bill nation, uh, for the, you know, uh, you know, some of the farm bill bloggers uh, out there who, who want to see the likes of Bob Kennedy Jr. announced and things like that. But uh, again, she would be a different type of a secretary. She wouldn't be the status quo in my mind. Uh, former Representative Charlie Stenholm, Democrat from Texas, if you polled Washingtonians, you would he would probably be at or near the top because we like him, he's a known commodity, he's fair-minded, and he knows both livestock and grains and energy, and he at least listens. A rare, rare thing in Washington, D.C. But he's a lobbyist, and if Obama is true to his word, uh, an overt lobbyist uh, will not be in his cabinet. Uh, Former Representative Jim Long Thompson, Democrat from Indiana, who lost uh, the governor's race in Indiana to Mitch Daniels, uh, even though Obama, Indiana went for Obama. Uh, USDA sometimes is a graveyard post, to be blunt. Uh, Dan Portman, who was a good agriculture secretary, lost his last race uh, in Kansas, and he became ag secretary. So you always have that as a possibility, and obviously Obama owes Indiana. Uh, they voted for him, uh, a female, uh, in the cabinet. Uh, I don't know what tier she's in, but her name keeps coming up. Then you have this big other group. National Farmers Union President Tom Bias is, is very well liked uh, by both political parties. He's a fair-minded uh, uh, head. Of a, of, a, of a group that's clearly democratic uh, uh, in tone, and he has definitely raised the, the uh, interest and the respect of NFU uh, in, in, in his tenure, but he's a direct lobbyist. 
Uh, National Black Farmers Association leader John Boyd surfaced about three weeks ago in a congressional quarterly uh, 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 article. Uh, again, that what, he's an activist, and he would uh, more than uh, uh, you know, more than bring change to the USDA. Former Iowa Governor Tom Vilsack, uh, via an email to the uh, you know, Des Moines Register last week, said he would not be picked, has not been contacted, etc. Uh, translation, he wants the job. He is, he is hired. I confirmed he hired, which was a stupid mistake. He hired a PR firm to get him exposure. So that's a no-no. Uh, they think uh, Obama owes Iowa big time because of uh, the caucus. Uh, he showed that he could take on uh, the Clintonites, and he won the caucus, and that got him going. So, again, I cannot rule him out still. Uh, the state act leaders, and there are many and many not even listed here, but Roger Johnson from North Dakota, uh, Dennis Wolf from you know, Pennsylvania, uh, these all have strengths and weaknesses. Patty Judge, currently Iowa Lieutenant Governor, uh, Farm Credit uh, Administration Commissioner and former Dashiell Lafayette, uh, Dallas Zonger. When I went to an Illinois Commodity uh, Group meeting uh, last week, uh, more than a few uh, very astute corn and soybean people at that meeting came up to me uh, at, uh, for both political parties and said, uh, uh, John Sullivan, who's chairman of the Illinois Senate Ag Committee, this guy gets good marks. So Illinois, Obama, although he can't be seen top heavy picking his own state people, but his, his is a name you have not seen on most others' list. Uh, Marshall Matz was a kingpin during the campaign and in the transition, but he's a principal with the law firm. And here's another one that's a, that's a, a, a possibility in the top tier, if she would want it, is Kansas Governor Kathleen Sebelius, uh, another rising star in the Democratic Party. She's term limited on the governor uh, in, in, in Kansas. Uh, some people tell me she wants to run in the Senate race in 2010 when Brownback is not going to run again. So those are some caveats there. That's the list, and there's probably more, uh, but again, I have no idea. I don't think they have, I know, they haven't made up their mind from what I can tell. I think when they get to the last third tier, that's when Obama and his top staff will look at the geographic mix of the cabinet announcements thus far, the ethnicity of the mix, and that will go a long way in determining the pool of the eight to ten people they have indeed vetted, but it's hard to get for sure who they have vetted.